I'm Brian O'Fallon with Haas Automation, and we're here today to talk about the newly redesigned Haas Mini Bill. And who better to talk about it with than Bob Draper. Bob's the vertical and mini mill product manager. So Bob, one of our most popular selling machines for years, what did you guys do differently this time? Yeah, the mini mill's great. It's still going to be, have the same basic bones and structure. It's still going to have the same great performance. But it was really time to freshen it up and bring it up to the latest reliability standards, the latest customer convenience standards, add everything uh, that we knew how to do. Okay, so when I walked up to the machine, I noticed a number of different things. The first thing that jumped out at me were all these features on the front of the machine. These are things that I'm used to seeing on the VMC line, and now you've brought them into the mini mill. Right, they're right off the VMC, the, the tool rack, we've got the, the table, the tool vise. We also added the wash down hose and the air gun right to the front of the machine, our latest versions. And these are things that Haas operators really appreciate because everything's right here at their fingertips. Yeah, it's easy to blow off the part, wash off the chips, and be ready for the next part. When I was looking at the machine this morning, another thing that really jumped out at me was this decal and the fact that we've added safety glass to the machine. Right, the safety glass is something we've been putting on every machine. It's very popular. It doesn't haze up from chips like right. the plastic will. It'll right. last longer than the plastic. It doesn't get brittle, and it's really easy to clean. Right, and that's the big thing. After a few years of owning a machine, you'll still be able to see through the window, right. see your workpiece, exactly. look at what you're machining. Uh, the other thing, just as I move this door back and forth, it used to open outside the enclosure. Yeah, if, uh, it could drip a little. So we made the machine just a hair wider, um, and we moved the door opening. We were able to get a, the full same size door in there. It doesn't penetrate the machine. It's a lot easier to clean out the inside. It's a lot simpler. The other thing that really stands out to me when I walk up is I go, wow, this thing's got a roof now. It used to be the mini mill was totally open, and now you've put a fully enclosed sheet metal roof on it. So before, you know, when we first started out with the mini mill, we didn't think we needed a roof, but uh, as we've added TSC and lots more coolant, uh, we had the clear plastic top, but it still had openings, so we fully enclosed it just to keep everything in there. And if you're going to fully enclose it, now you need light. You don't have the light from your shop anymore. Right, so we added the brightest LED we could find, and it actually, I think, lights it up better than uh, with the roof open. It does. you got a lot of light on your table and your workpiece. So moving to inside the machine, Another thing that our customers really like that we've had in the last couple of years on the VMCs, you've brought to the mini mill. We've got a coolant ring in here now. Right, it's been very popular on the VMCs, so we made a smaller version, but it's great. It put tons of coolant right on the part, right on your tool tip, right where you want. Right, you can adjust each nozzle independently. Right. Like you said, there's a ton of coolant, good flow. And of course, the option that we've always had is P-Cool. You can still add that on any of the mini mill series, right? Right, P-Cool's great. It puts the coolant right at the tip or right where, where, wherever you want it, it puts it right there. That's a big deal, especially on a machine like a mini mill where a job shop may have many different job sets that can set up at once. You can have a different setting for each tool. So talking about coolant, let's go around the side of the machine yep. and take a look. You right. guys have actually redesigned this whole section as well. Right, so what we did was we brought the back of the tank out, we dropped the bottom a little, we brought the coolant level up, and that's how we doubled the coolant volume. Okay. And that allowed us room to put uh, the standard tank here with a TSC side by side, or pop in our standard high flow tank right off our VMCs. And this looks a lot different and a lot more user friendly because where you used to have some interferences, now when you do add TSC, you drop it straight down. You don't have right. any sheet metal in your way, nothing to worry about. Right, we also changed how the coolant flows, how we port the coolant, and that allows to get rid of the filter. And that's a big deal because now you've got one less guy in the shop having to come back and check that filter right. daily or weekly. Right, one less thing to do, one less part. There's one more thing I see. We got an oil skimmer now. We didn't used to be able to add this to the mini mill. Yeah, the oil skimmer is a great option. Uh, as the coolant breaks down, you get that scum layer and you get a little floaty aluminum chips. And right. It does a great job at keeping the coolant. Clean. And no shop personnel have to mess with the coolant. This thing just turns on and does the job for you. Exactly. So this morning before you came down, I was walking around the machine and what's really obvious is the larger opening in the, in the coolant tank. Right, the, the old mini mill was a little hard to clean out. We had big openings on, on the sides uh, because of the longer tank and we could move everything and we got the, the lubrication system off the back. We added a giant hole in the back too. So you can take a shop back, stick a long nozzle and easily get every corner of the machine without much effort. That's a big improvement. I know you guys made some changes to the auger. So a little bit about the history on the auger, the mini mill, if I remember correctly. At first we didn't have it, then we added the auger. So what's different about this on the newly redesigned machine? 
Well, you're right. We added the auger a few years after the introduction of the mini mill. And it was kind of a compromise. It, it sat, sat on top of the tank. So with a new tank, we've actually got the auger lowered, down in the coolant a little. Uh, we shaped the tank for the auger. So, so really it's the machine designed. was designed around the auger. Right, exactly. And, and it does a much better job of getting the chips out of the Oh, it does, now. it does. It's more like a regular vertical in that respect. Okay. Something that I'm used to seeing on the verticals and now I see on the mini mill is this lubrication cabinet. Right, so the min loop system is really kind of the heart of our reliability efforts. This is on all the VMCs. Um, you don't have to add oil every three or four weeks now. Uh, right. The grease lasts for a year. So to do that, it carries through the whole machine. We got the solenoids out of the head, brought them down here in a cleaner environment. Uh, it's easy to get to, you see everything. We have our new air pressure sensor on there. And uh, all the color coding, that's all right. the things that we've easy started for on service. the VMCs, that's right. right. Uh, everything kind of looks the same, but really we've touched every part on the machine. Uh, the head cover we were talking about, everything in there is replumbed, rewired for the minimum system uh, to get more coolant flow to the tip. You can see the cable carrier we have on top now is different than that old tube. It makes it more reliable, more room, easier for us to run, run things. Um, all the fasteners you can see now are quarter 20, not 1032. Uh, we have the new Haas interlock. A very simple device, works great. Uh, everything we could think of improve we touch a lot of upgrades much more reliable machine sounds like the new mini mill is a worthy successor i think it's a worthy successor thanks brian thanks bob